Tonight we're taking a look into the race for governor and just how early the candidates in this race have started campaigning. Almost six months early. KSMT News reporter Kelly Sperry talked to our political analyst Dr. Beatty to find out why this may be happening. In 2017, we saw then incumbent governor Jeff Collier run for governor along with Democrat Laura Kelly. Collier announced his bid in August of 2017, 12 months before the Republican primary, announcing candidacy for the 2022 race a whopping 17 months before the primary. Then Kelly in December of that year, about nine months before the Democratic primary. She announced her re-election campaign in December of 2020. That's about 20 months before the election. But the first person to announce their bid, current Attorney General Derek Schmidt. If you're an incumbent, you're all, you're always campaigning. So Derek Schmidt, whenever he gives a press conference on fighting crime, is also running for governor. Traditionally in Kansas, underdog candidates declare super early because they're unknown, according to Dr. Beatty. Well-known candidates don't need it. One possible reason, he says, is the urgent need for one Republican to fundraise before the other does, since they'll be asking the same people for their support. It looked like Jeff Collier got a little bit caught off guards by Derek Schmidt declaring because Collier's website still isn't even up and running, um, which does make me think he hadn't quite planned to go official this early, but then Derek Schmidt uh, maybe uh, prompted him to do so. As Dr. Beatty puts it, Republicans are gambling that their assessment of Governor Kelly's vulnerability will maintain that way for the next year and a half. And that was Kelly Severi reporting. Now, speaking of, Governor Kelly has raised more money in her time in office than any previous incumbent in this state in the first two years.